Hey everyone! It's finally time to reveal the winners of this year's Chill Out cover competition. This is a competition that I run every May, which challenges musicians to produce a cover of a piece of video game music in a chilled out or relaxed style. This year, like every year that I've run this contest, I was blown away by the creativity, artistic diversity, and sheer skill shown off by everyone that took part. While regrettably I'm not able to talk about all 64 entries in this video, I am delighted to be able to shine a light on some of the covers that really resonated with the judges. Whether your video is featured here or not, make no mistake, we enjoyed seeing the outcome of your hard work, and the world is an artistically richer place for your contributions. Before we start, some quick thanks to you. This competition wouldn't be possible without the expertise and dedication of my fellow judges who have generously volunteered their time. So huge thanks to Jordan Moore, Tiggs, and 8-Bit Music Theory. Even if our rankings are subjective and sometimes hard to reconcile, I feel that these musicians' wisdom lends credibility to the competition's results. Secondly, thank you to everyone that helps to fund this competition. My kind supporters on Patreon definitely help make running these sorts of events more economically viable, as does having the competition sponsored by Game Grooves. In case you haven't heard of them, Game Grooves is a community, website, and record label dedicated to celebrating covers of video game music. If that sounds like something you're interested in, check them out with the link in the video description. Lastly, thank you to everyone that has taken part in this competition, and that doesn't just mean the entrance. I am stunned by how many people have watched through the entire playlist and left supportive comments on every video. I love seeing the excitement that this competition seems to generate, and it's especially nice to see newcomers to the VGM cover scene being welcomed by veterans. I've said this many times, and it's grown no less true over the years. The VGM cover community is the nicest corner of the internet, and it's a group that I'm proud to be part of. Alright, you've waited long enough. Let's kick things off. Narrowing down our shortlists was especially gruelling this year. We could have easily chosen twice as many honourable mentions for this list, so it pains me to have to draw a line and not mention some very worthy entries. Acknowledging that, here are eight videos that all the judges thought did something very special. Russell Torres's bossa nova take on Heart Home City is full of sweet ensemble colours and features some killer solos. It's an exceptionally strong arrangement that brings the best out of every performer involved. JD Wynn's covers are always charming featuring some of the most sumptuous wind textures I've ever heard. His cover of Ophelia's theme from Octopath Traveler is no exception, showcasing beautiful playing and elegant part writing. The care put into the production of Chromatic Apparatus's cover from Beyond Skyrim Bruma is astonishing. Sensitive playing and a thoughtful arrangement come together in a cover that is truly cinematic in scope. D-Mage's cover of KK Driven would feel right at home among some of the best 80s fusion and city pop. It's impossible to sit still while listening to this. What a groove. Stephen Higby has established himself as one of the finest ocarina players on YouTube. His cover of Narsense from Journey demonstrates both his fantastic tonal control and his formidable production chops. I really appreciate the unique storytelling work being done by Subversive Asset. His entry for this competition couples ruminations on morality and free will with appropriately profound counterpoint, an audio equivalent of observing the threads of fate. Mm -hmm. 
Guitar SVD is no stranger to accolades from this competition. His perfectly idiomatic arrangement showcases his expressive and heartfelt performance. This video is a masterclass in how to use phrasing and pacing to make an incredibly communicative interpretation. And Arnold Banier's arrangement of Suteki Dane shows off his powerful virtuosity and his thorough understanding of his instrument. The way that Arnold is able to keep rippling accompaniment figures so even and delicate beneath a melody line is deeply impressive. Congratulations to this year's honourable mentions! If you haven't checked out these channels already, please do yourself the favour of giving them a listen. They're all brilliant musicians with rich catalogues of past covers. This year, the Audience Choice Award really came down to the wire. There were 60 total votes cast, and the winner was decided by a single vote. Here they are. This impeccable arrangement by Russell Torres was already honourably mentioned, but I am nowhere near close to running out of praise for it. The more I listen to it, the more I notice charming details, like the stylistically perfect accents in background harmonic parts, or the elegant ways that various instruments bring attention to structural divisions. Nothing here feels under or overplayed. The rhythm section is nailing a balance between embellishing and sitting back on a groove. The gorgeous audio production is matched by clean and cohesive visuals, showcasing all the important action and highlighting textural changes. This is such a thoughtfully produced video, and the tremendous amount of work that's gone into it really shows. Congratulations, Russell. It's nice to see your work gaining recognition in the community. I'm looking forward to hearing more of your passionately produced reinventions in the future. Every previous year that I've run this competition, it's felt like a pity that I couldn't acknowledge more videos that do interesting things with their visual components. So this year, I've expanded the video category to have first, second, and third place winners. Let's take a look at the judges' picks. So, when you're working with footage from collaborators, you can try to match shots and produce a consistent whole, or you can do what Nico Mendoza has done here and lean into the contrasts. The cool colours of his poolside footage make the saturated warm hues of Becca Michelson and Marimba Matt's melody parts stand out in contrast. I love this composition, it's like there's a natural light shining on the melody when it's framed by those rhythm section parts. Beyond this concept, this is also just a really tightly edited video, with great cuts and zooms to emphasise textural changes. Nico is building up such a strong catalogue of videos on his channel, and all of his ideas are executed at such a high level. If you enjoyed these laid-back summary vibes, I can't recommend the rest of his work highly enough. Whatever project Sarah Garrard is working on, you can be sure that she's producing something unique and compelling. Her entry to this year's competition, a soaring orchestral mashup of themes from Final Fantasy VI and VII, is testament to that. 
Its video uses shadow dioramas, orchestral footage, and coloured light projections to reinforce the ebb and flow of its symphonic textures. It's a deeply evocative presentation. For me, the video reinforced the feelings of melancholy, nostalgia, longing, and wonder suggested by Sarah's cover. If you haven't yet checked out her other work, I strongly recommend doing so. Her output is diverse and always worth your time. There's lots of ways that a covers video can be impressive to us. The judges appreciated all the videos with tight and cohesive presentation, as well as those which used evocative visual design to reinforce the feel of their music. The winner of our video category this year did both of these things to a really high standard. Let's take a look at their entry. I'm not sure I've ever seen a synthesis between game and performance footage that is as inspired or convincing as a cappella VGM's cover of themes from Wilmot's Warehouse. In the first half of this video, the colour choices and layout reflect the presentation of the game, making the cleanly chroma keyed footage feel like an extension of the game world. A series of slow zooms draw the listener in and perfectly align to the slow building of musical intensity. In the second half of the video, the visuals show some of the process behind the cover, as coloured lighting is used to show correspondence to tracks in workstation playback footage. I don't think I've ever seen this approach before, and it's a really cool effect. It showcases some of the layered complexity behind this unique texture. The careful planning and meticulous production that has gone into this has resulted in a deeply engaging audiovisual presentation. Congratulations a cappella VGM. Of course, I feel bad exclusively bringing attention to these prize winners when there were lots of cool video ideas and plenty of slick presentation from many entrants. But I hope you'll at least agree with the fact that these three achieved something pretty commendable with their videos. Alright, here's the main event. Like I said before, there was no shortage of talent on display this year, and the judges panel wasn't completely unanimous, but we all agreed that these three entries are staggeringly impressive musical works, showcasing prodigious creativity, virtuosity, and production skills. Here are the audio category winners for this year's competition. Sean Shafiansky has been turning video game tunes into compelling jazz arrangements for many years, and I feel like everything he touches turns to gold. His cover of the lake theme from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl is emblematic of his diverse and robust skill set. The way that the rhythm section in this track delicately complements the solo lines is masterful, and the warm flowing tone of Sean's saxophone playing is so emotive and sweet. The saxophone duet moments in this are definitely a highlight for me, but every instrument here plays such effortlessly elegant lines. All the expert performances are brought together in a flawless mix where everything sounds crystal clear, but there's a beautiful sense of cohesion and warmth throughout. When you look at all the details, the skill that's gone into this mix is stunning, but it's also the sort of track you can just float away with. Thanks for being part of this competition, Sean. Your work remains an enviable inspiration.
I've already gushed about the video side of Acapella VGM's entry, so now it's time for me to do the same for its audio. While most of the vocal parts aren't outwardly showy, Acapella VGM's astonishing technical control and timbral range are clearly displayed throughout. From whistles, to organ-like swells, to delayed bells, you can hear the thought that's gone into choosing fitting articulations, vowels, and consonants for each part. Creating a cohesive cover from these stems is also no mean feat, but every part here feels perfectly mixed and produced, resulting in textures which are more than the sum of their parts. Acapella VGM is really setting new standards for what acapella arrangements are capable of. You've heard lots of amazing covers so far, which deftly convey particular moods or take original tracks in bold and fascinating new directions, but our first place audio winner for this year has done something more than that. They've given us one of those rare arrangements that takes the listener on a wondrous journey. Here is 2022's audio category grand prize winner. From the first notes of Andy Rue's arrangement of The Great Sea, his instrumental mastery is palpable. It's rare to find bass solos that are this melodic and expressive, so you know you're in for a treat. From this simple opening, the arrangement blossoms into an epic set of variations which explore all sorts of varied textures, from elegant flute counterpoint, to mariachi-like trumpet solos accompanied by dense percussion, to duets between electric and double basses. There are so many cool, unique combinations here, and they flow together seamlessly into an exciting odyssey. The individual part writing is constantly clever too. There are so many interesting accompanying figures, whether the textures are sparse or dense, and Andy's solid understanding of orchestration produces some wonderfully symphonic effects. The concept for this cover is intimidatingly ambitious, but the finished product is an unmistakable triumph. Congratulations, Andy Rue. It has been inspiring to see the ways you've developed your craft over the last few years, and I'm always keen to hear your fresh takes on VGM standards. That brings this year's Chill Out cover competition to a close. Thank you again for making it such a success. It is an honour and privilege to be able to run it, and it's definitely the most validating work that I do on YouTube. Take care of yourselves and stay safe, and I hope you'll join me again for next year's competition. Bye-bye.